السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we continue our ECG course and today uh, we'll continue our arrhythmia uh, lecture uh, and we'll speak about uh, rhythms from every node and from every node my name is Ahmed Al Hadidi I am emergency medicine consultant let's start with the rhythm from every node which are generally characterized uh, by the B wave uh, you may be absent, inverted, or even may follow the QRS uh, itself. As you can see here, B wave is inverted. Also, QRS complex is usually normal configuration or narrow complex. Uh, as a definition for uh, junctional rhythm, junctional rhythm itself is abnormal heart rhythm result from AV node or from the junction between the atria and ventricles. Junctional bradycardia is junctional rate, uh, junctional rhythm at a rate of uh, less than 40. Uh, junctional escape rhythm is uh, junctional rhythm of rate uh, 40 to 60. Accelerated junctional rhythm is junctional rate or rhythm at a rate of 60 to 100. Junctional tachycardia rate more than 100. Nodal or junctional premature beats uh, is usually a narrow complex uh, beat normal configuration which appear prematurely and it's usually narrow uh, complex at its, uh, because it's it comes before the bifurcation of uh, the bundle of S to right bundle and left bundle and uh, as general B wave is absent or inverted or may follow the QRS complex. Also here there is a compensatory pose which uh, this is a compensatory pose, which is a, a relatively a longer uh, duration between the, uh, the abnormal beat and the second normal R wave. And it's usually this compensatory pose is complete or incomplete. Complete means that the duration from this beat, including two beats, including the uh, junctional beat, equals the duration between two, uh, uh, double the duration of normal beats. Junctional escape rhythm uh, happens when SA node impulse itself fails to reach every node. So this is a normal sinus rhythm, normal sinus beat, normal sinus beat. And here there is a stop of sinus beat for milliseconds. So the AV node starts to take over, which is called junctional escape rhythm. And it's a rate between 40 to 60 beat per minute. And as usual, the QRS complex will be narrow complex and it appears later than anticipated. So we, uh, uh, this is a normal sinus rhythm. If we anticipate a second or uh, uh, the sequent sinus rhythm here, the uh, junctional rhythm will appear later than the anticipated one. Junctional bradycardia, as we mentioned before, is junctional rhythm with rate between uh, uh, 40 to uh, between 20 to 40 or less than 40. This is a junctional rhythm here, B wave inverted. Here B wave follows the QRS and both of them rate less than 40 beat per minute. And both of them you will find narrow complex rhythm. Accelerated junctional rhythm is a junctional uh, uh, rhythm with rate between 60 to 100. As you can see, uh, you cannot clearly identify B waves and it's narrow complex. And usually accelerated junction rhythm appear when the AV node pacing rhythm itself exceeds that of the sinus uh, node or SA node. This means increased automaticity in AV node and decreased automaticity in SA node. And usually it is classic uh, presentation in digital toxicity. Junctional tachycardia when the rate is more than 100 and same uh, characters uh, as before, narrow complex B wave, inverted or even follow the QRS and the narrow complex. And it's difficult to differentiate between junctional tachycardia and uh, uh, some types of atrial tachycardia. Uh, to go to the second part, which is a rhythm originating from the ventricles itself. It's characterized by bizarre shape QRS and white QRS, as you can see here, this is white QRS and T wave pointing in direction opposite to QRS, which is called discordance. So if QRS is negative, B wave will be positive. Here, B wave, uh, QRS is positive. So T wave, sorry, will be negative. 
and also QRS randomly related to B wave if you can see any B waves. So uh, premature ventricular contraction is only one contraction here, which is white complex with the discordance uh, uh, QRS pointing up, T wave pointing down. And it's a premature beat arising from ectopic focus within the ventricle itself, which bypass the his bundle and depolarize the ventricles uh, directly. Uh, so there will be uh, interventricular uh, conduction delay, reducing white complex or prolonged duration and abnormal uh, 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 morphology. So this is a premature ventricular uh, contraction focus arising from here. So first it will debolarize the ventricle immediately, then we'll go to debolarize the, uh, the uh, right ventricle. This will cause, uh, so it starts with the right ventricle, then we'll go to left ventricle, and this will lead to a white complex. As a ECG features for, for premature ventricular contractions, uh, a white complex more than 120 milliseconds and abnormal morphology as you can see it's even taller and wider premature occur early than expected as we spoke about premature uh, junctional rhythm uh, and usually followed by a comp full compensatory pose or complete compensatory pose so this is a compensatory pose as we uh, uh, spoke about here so to measure it we need to measure from this R wave so this R wave and this duration should be double the normal RR interval. If this duration is the double the normal R interval, this means complete compensatory pose. And by the way, if you can uh, see here also, this is a premature ventricular contraction. This is another premature ventricular contraction. And this one is another premature ventricular contraction. And even retrograde capture of the atria. So may be followed by contraction of the atria or maybe the debolarization of the uh, atria due to retrograde capture. Uh, as we uh, already uh, uh, discussed, discordant ST segment and T wave changes mean that if the QRS is positive, the, there will be slight ST depression with inverted T waves. Uh, ventricular by Gemini means that there is alternative. Each normal QRS will be alternated with abnormal premature ventricular contraction. So normal QRS uh, uh, followed by abnormal uh, or premature ventricular contractions. Ventricular trigeminy means that each two normal QRSs or sinus rhythm followed by one uh, premature contractions. So two normal QRSs followed by one abnormal premature ventricular contraction. This is ventricular trigeminy. Uh, uh, couplets means two uh, uh, sequent uh, uh, premature contractions in a sequence. Triplets means three ventricular contractions in a sequence. Unifocal premature ventricular contractions means that all arising from the same focus with the same morphology. So this is same morphology as this one and as the same morphology as this one. This is also again uh, unifocal and also ventricular trigeminy. Multifocal means a different morphology. So there will be one positive QRS, premature ventricular contraction, one negative premature ventraction. These are premature ventricular contractions arising from different focuses within the ventricles. Idioventricular uh, escape rhythm means that uh, uh, the ventricular rate, uh, all are ventricular uh, rhythm and arising from the ventricle itself with a rate between two, uh, 20 to 40 beat per minute. This is idioventricular escape rhythm and it arises when there is failure in SA node and AV node to uh, uh, work as a pacemaker. So the intrinsic uh, 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 fibers or muscles inside the ventricle will act as a base maker of the heart. And uh, of course, QRSs will be white QRSs and you will find either left bundle branch morphology or right bundle branch morphology. Accelerated idioventricular uh, rhythm means that uh, the rate of the ventricle itself exceeds that of the SA node. So the ventricular, this is a ventricular uh, rhythm and exceeding that of the SA node. And if you can see here, this is a B wave 
before the QRS, then B wave happens during the QRS itself, then following the QRS, if you calculated the rate of the QRSs will be less higher than the rate of the B wave. So it appears here before the QRS and here it's buried inside the QRS and then comes after the QRS itself because the ventricles are running faster than the SC mode. Again, this is accelerated in your ventricular rhythm with regular uh, rhythm and rate of 60 to 100 white complex and of course it will be more than three uh, QRSs and white complex is more than 120 milliseconds and usually it's classically seen in reperfusion phase of acute STEMI post thrombolysis. If you give thrombolytic therapy and start uh, reperfusion of the heart, it's a common rhythm and it's well tolerated benign and self-limiting rhythm uh, doesn't need any intervention. Ventricular tachycardia is a series of three or more uh, ventricular contractions with rate of 100 till or to 200 beat per minute. As you can see here, uh, rhythm is almost uh, 150 or 180 even beat per minute. Uh, and QRS complexes are wide and uh, T waves are pointing in the opposite direction and maybe paroxysmal or sudden ventricular tachycardia or non-paroxysmal may be sustained that last more than 30 seconds or non-sustained, maybe monomorphic or polymorphic. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia uh, arise from multiple ventricular foci and the result QRS complexes are varying in amplitude, axis and duration. So uh, here the direction is different than this direction. Morphology is different than all. And Tursa de Bois is a form, specific form of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. And uh, uh, usually it happens when the QRS complex twist around isoelectric line and is tors, uh, all polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and Tursa de Bois is usually short-lived self-terminating or even may be associated with hemodynamic instability and may lead to ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular flutter is a form of ventricular tachycardia with very fast rate, around uh, 250 to 350 beat per minute. And uh, as you can see here, you cannot differentiate between QRS and T wave, which is called sinusoidal uh, wave form. And it is extreme form of ventricular tachycardia usually it's momentarily happens and transition uh, stage to ventricular uh, fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation itself is a cardiac arrest rhythm. So never patient with ventricular fibrillation, there is no pulse. You cannot feel any carotid pulse. It is bizarre, irregular uh, waveform with random frequency and amplitude. No recognized QRS, no T wave, no B wave. It's cardiac arrest rhythm. Just to check uh, and exclude there is any artifact and exclude uh, uh, any electrical interference. So people working in, uh, in anesthesia, for example, they can see this uh, waveform with diathermy electrical interference with the patient. To summarize, we spoke about junctional rhythm and uh, B waves may be absent, inverted, or may follow QRS. QRS complex itself is narrow complex. And we spoke about premature junctional contraction, junctional escape rhythm, junctional bradycardia, and accelerated junctional rhythm, and junctional tachycardia. Ventricular rhythm is bizarre white complexes, and T wave pointing in a direction opposite to QRSs is it's called uh, discordance. And uh, uh, we spoke about premature ventricular contractions, idioventricular rhythm, accelerated ventricular rhythm, ventricular tachycardia ventricular flutter, and finally ventricular fibrillation. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe to our uh, channel. Thank you.